The man before my eyes, who was hideous, was a well-known boss in the town just a few days ago. His wife was young and beautiful, arousing jealousy among the younger generation. His lover was a young woman who couldn't resist the urge to go out on a date during her breastfeeding period. But as soon as they were about to get intimate, they discovered an unknown creature wriggling in the grass. He initially wanted to investigate it. But the creature mistook him for food. It shot out a fly-like insect that burrowed into his body. Strange memories flooded the man's brain instantly. The parasitized man quickly exhibited abnormal behavior. He developed an intense craving for raw meat. He would buy cartloads of groceries from the supermarket to satisfy his desires. But even the dead meat couldn't fulfill his needs. So he set his sights on live animals. As more and more pets went missing in the town, his wife, Casey, finally noticed something was amiss. The basement door in their house was locked, and the man hastily explained that he had a surprise prepared for her inside. Little did she know that his gaze towards her was filled with longing. Soon, he found himself in the bathroom, watching Casey showering. Unable to resist, he revealed the tentacles within his abdomen, but just as he was about to act, Love for his wife miraculously triumphed over his desires. He endured the hunger and chose to leave. He arrived at his lover's house. Unable to contain his true form any longer, she was petrified. But she could only passively accept the parasitic fate that awaited her. After a satisfying meal in the evening, the man returned home. But Casey was shocked by his appearance. However, the man claimed that he had been stung by a wasp that day. And Casey, being naive, chose to believe him. From that day onwards, the man would go out every night, carrying large amounts of raw meat. He would arrive at an abandoned wooden cabin. Inside, his lover was bound, and piles of raw meat lay on the floor. Meanwhile, the town sheriff found Casey and informed her that a woman named Sterling had gone missing. The last person to see her was Casey's husband. Casey initially hesitated to believe the sheriff's words, but when he opened the basement, the horrifying scene before her eyes filled her with terror. The basement was filled with the missing pets from the town. Casey quickly dialed the sheriff's number to report the discovery. However, before she could finish her words, she noticed her husband standing just outside the door. <laughs> Terrified, she tried to flee, but the man tackled her to the ground. Suddenly, the sheriff arrived just in time and quickly rushed out upon seeing the man with a gun. Subsequently, the ranches in the town were attacked one after another, and they armed themselves with all the firearms from the police station. Casey followed and arrived at the ambush location, hoping to use the power of love to redeem her husband. However, when the man appeared, she was still shocked. He had lost all human features, resembling a walking octopus as he assaulted a female cow. Witnessing this scene, Casey couldn't help but intervene and try to stop him. She continuously used their cherished memories to stimulate his brain. It Grant. In a moment of trance, the man's consciousness wavered, but suddenly, another officer ran out. He relied on having a gun and spoke boldly to the man. However, what followed was a horrifying turn of events. The group opened fire, hoping to immobilize the creature, but the man had already fled. Shortly after, they arrived at an abandoned wooden cabin, surrounded by a foul stench. To their surprise, the sheriff heard a woman's cries at the door, prompting him to quickly open the wooden door. What greeted their eyes was a colossal creature that could speak. The sheriff approached to investigate and discovered that the woman was Sterling, who had been missing for three days, seemingly devoid of self-control. She kept crying out about how hungry she was, but in the next moment, Sterling began to swell more and more, followed by a violent explosion. Countless red insects gushed out, their target being human mouths. The group quickly covered their mouths, but the swarm inundated them in an instant. They swarmed towards the distant town and the four survivors realized the gravity of the situation. The sheriff decided to seek support from the nearby town as a priority. Meanwhile, a beautiful young girl was enjoying a hot bath, completely unaware of the approaching insects. The insects slowly moved towards the girl, and the sound of the trembling water startled her. She tried to escape from the bathtub but realized that the insects had already crawled onto her back. Taking advantage of the girl's loud screams, the insects seized the opportunity to crawl into her mouth. 
Fortunately, the girl grabbed one of their tails and forcefully flung it away. Then, she used an electric heating rod to scorch and kill the insects. She quickly put on her clothes and rushed to find her mother, only to discover her mother vomiting blood, convulsing on the floor. In a panic, she opened the door to find her younger brother and sister, but they were also convulsing uncontrollably. Julie could only leave the house to seek help. However, the sheer number of insects was overwhelming, so she desperately jumped off the roof. Yet, the insects pursued her relentlessly, and she hurriedly took refuge inside a car. Thinking she had escaped the ordeal, she saw her family members approaching outside the car. Their terrifying expressions made her barely recognize them, and Julie was filled with extreme fear. She could only scream incessantly, and coincidentally, the sheriff was passing by. Hearing Julie's cries, she took the opportunity to open the car door. Julie quickly ran behind the sheriff and informed her that these were no longer her family members. Finally, everyone managed to escape safely, but almost all the townspeople had been parasitized. The sheriff and her team were at a loss for what to do. It was then that Julie suddenly spoke. It turned out that when the insects bit her mouth, she glimpsed the memories of an extraterrestrial. In other words, to eliminate them, Casey's husband had to be killed. However, they were suddenly struck by an impact, and when the sheriff slowly regained consciousness, she witnessed the parasitic beings taking Casey away, but she was helpless to intervene. She hastily got out of the car and managed to grab Julie just as she was being captured. The parasitic beings relentlessly pursued them, but they found a safe place to hide. Meanwhile, Casey woke up on the bed, wearing clean pajamas that had been changed for her. She tried to escape through the window but found it boarded up. It She cautiously descended the stairs, only to see sweet photos of herself and her husband hanging on the wall. She immediately realized that her husband still loved her, even if he was parasitized. But when she arrived in the living room, filled with hope, her husband had already transformed into a monster. In his eyes, there was no longer any love, and he immediately ensnared Casey with his tendrils. In a life-or-death moment, Casey tenderly called out her husband's name, attempting to awaken his consciousness. Finally. Her husband was once again influenced, he slowly released Casey, and she approached him as if she was going to kiss him, pretending to be affectionate. But suddenly, she pulled out the comb from her waist, intending to eliminate the monster before her. However, the pain once again allowed the alien creature to regain control, and it forcefully flung Casey away. Then, it grabbed her by the throat. Just then, the sheriff arrived in the nick of time. The grenade exploded in the water, and the tendrils of the monster followed. One of them directly penetrated the sheriff's abdomen, and another was about to enter. The sheriff noticed a gas canister nearby and desperately connected the tendrils to it. Rushes of gas rushed into the monster's body. The monster tried to shake off the gas canister, but the sheriff held on tightly. In this critical moment, the sheriff shouted at Casey to shoot. Finally, Casey realized there was a gun on the ground and quickly picked it up. She aimed at her former lover without hesitation and pulled the trigger. With a gunshot, the monster instantly exploded into pieces. Flesh scattered everywhere. And at the same time, the parasitized people outside collapsed to the ground. Fortunately, the sheriff, Casey, and Julie survived the ordeal. However, what they didn't know was that a cat had come across a piece of the scattered flesh. 